it's Melissa. Today, I'll introduce one of my favorite tourist attractions in Seoul. Dongdogu has many attractions and landmarks. There's Dongdo Tower, a huge bookstore, and so many bars. If you walk a little from Dongdo, you can find Insadong. Insadong has a lot of Korean traditional cuisines and tea rooms. There's also many souvenir stores, so you should buy gifts for your friends. I recommend buying Korean traditional wooden chopsticks. And then you can walk to Gyeongbokgung. This traditional palace is right in the middle of the city. They also have hanbok rental stores nearby, so you should try on hanbok as well. If you wear hanbok, then the entrance fee is free. Then you could walk to Bukchon Hanok village. All the traditional Korean houses lined up here is not just for decoration. People actually do live here. I also came here with my family, and here's a picture of me and my brother. You could also Airbnb a place here if you want the full experience of sleeping at one of these traditional houses, but it could be quite expensive. Next stop is Hamcheongdong. Many Korean girls come here to take Instagram photos. You can go to Jongno in the afternoon and then move on to Hangang at night for a beer. There's always so many people at Hangang regardless of time. People come here to run and work out, or they just come with their family and friends to chill. I go to Hangang a lot with my friends. We buy a mat and turn on music and order chicken and beer. You can order chicken and beer through delivery apps and they will deliver right to your spot. I think the whole time you spend in Korea is very precious. So you should try to go to many different places and try diverse things that you can only do in Korea. If you want to know more about any places to go in Korea, please comment below.